This piece is entitled Steel Forest. And really the best way for it to be seen is as I'm seeing it now. So please do lay down and look at it this way. Because what you really need to do is close one eye and look through the nails like this and watch how your view changes, what you see through there. So it's, it's as if it is literally a forest of nails and the nails are nailed into a piece of wood which was part of a forest. So it's, it's circular in that way. You also notice though that in the way that man-made mass-produced items are, it's, it's very regularized, unlike a forest. And so once again, it's, it's making that contrast between the natural and the man-made. And like the other pieces, it's also taking objects out of context because usually a nail is really just a nail and for the most part people try to hide nails once they've once they've nailed them in they will spackle them over them and, and they don't want them to be seen and here in fact the nails are all are basically all you can see you can only see a glimpse of the wood but the result is something that has a very natural feeling to it because of the way that the surfaces undulate both on the top and on the side. It, it almost starts to look like a living being, like a centipede. And conversely, if the nails were coming up, it would, it would remind you of, of a bed of nails or something like that. But in fact, this is one piece, one of the few pieces here, which, which doesn't involve danger. You can, you can touch it all you want. And once again, I do encourage you to touch it, to feel the, the temperature of the nails, the coldness against your skin, the, the way few things in nature have this feeling, this, this cold hardness. Even rocks don't, don't feel just like this. But you don't usually feel nails in this way. And then once again, feel them this way. If you want, you can rub your fingernail against them and they'll make noise. Listen. It's a very relaxing sound, almost like wind chimes. And so here's another way where, by taking things out of context, you give them a whole new life. And, and I think really that's what art is about, is, is giving new life to existing things. I mean, someone once said there's nothing new under the sun, and there may not be, but the way, the context that you put that in can be new. And so once again we have a piece which is hard and unyielding and yet at the same time has a wonderful feeling to it, has a wonderful sound to it. And so it's taken industrial materials that aren't meant to be seen or touched or heard and forced you to look at them and interact with them in another way. And once again, like with the other pieces, I recommend that you smell it too. Because when you're down here looking at it, you can see how the light goes through this forest of nails. You can see the patterns that are made both with the flat surfaces and the elongated surfaces. But please do get down on your hands and knees and experience it because it's not, I mean, while you can, of course, experience art any way you want, if you want to just look at it this way, you can, it's really a much more sensual and emotional experience if you're right down with it. Now, once again, like some of the other pieces, there are some possible places to jab yourself. And like I say, as with the other pieces, you're welcome to do that to make, to add your DNA to the artistic DNA of the piece. How does this piece relate to the other wood and screws piece? It's really, it, it's really a very close relative to that in that it does have this central core of wood that, that's really the same size, in fact. 
the wood is different. This wood is pine, that wood is redwood. And it uses uh, nails instead of screws. The difference is the other piece, they're perfectly, perfectly ordered in a very carefully calculated way. In this piece, they're, they're more organically organized like a forest would be. So that when you look at them, you'll see they're not perfectly. Some rows will have more, but in doing that, it can remind you of fish scales. It can remind you of coins thrown on the ground. It, it can remind you of so many things. At one point, it gets wider, it gets narrower. And, and if you are looking at it from this angle, move back and forth so that you can see how the light is reflecting off those in different ways. inspiration for this piece was actually two things. I was in the forest and there was a centipede and there were the trees and I started to relate the idea of all the tiny little legs to all the, the it was a young forest, all the thin trees reaching out and the multiples and the thinness and the evenness but at the same time the fact that unlike in the man-made world where everything is very rigid and rational, at least seemingly rational, and organized, that here was a way to present with man-made objects something that had the organic flow of nature. And lastly, You know, I think actually that, that this, is, this is one of the directions that I'm heading because being inspired by the very found objects and then moving in the direction where you take the inspiration from the found objects and turn them into more conceptual pieces. I mean, and so the fact that this one, and, and I'll use this little piece of metal so you can hear it better. So I, I like the fact that it's inspired by nature, it's inspired by imperfection, and that it plays with the use of traditionally hidden materials. But I think this is, this is the direction that I'm heading.